Hello everyone, this is Blue Mike 155 from on YouTube. Um this video goes out to a person that has messaged me on my YouTube channel and um Um well I could do this favor with ease. I could show you how to do a logo and stuff, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in Photoshop. So let's get into it. Sorry I can't pronounce out your name, I don't wanna sound you know dumb or anything, so let's let me just do that right now. So um, this is just previous projects I'm working on. So, so if you want to create a logo, it's quite simple. And if you don't have these styles, because this is what I'm going to base this tutorial on, just visit my website at mikesdesigns.ning.com, and the link should be in the video description. Um, I'm going to be basing this tutorial on a lot of these styles and stuff. So, try to get that. But otherwise you don't have to use it if you don't it's just that the styles is a good base um thing to work on and you can just work your way up on it easily so yeah so start off with a uh, signature you want to start off small because a lot of websites they're not going to allow you to have oversized big signature logo things so you want to start off small um 500 by 500 500 will do Excuse me for that, 500 by 500. And just press OK. So once you get your document, um, resize it for the video. Um, I know YouTube has a video um, size upgrade thing, screen, whatever. I'll try to get with that soon. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to select down here where the shape tools are at and select the ellipse tool. Um, so holding shift. Depending how you want your logo, a circular box, whatever. I'm just start off with circular. And uh, so once you have your circle drawn out in a separate layer, we're gonna give that uh, its own shape or style. So I'm gonna select the style from my style palette here. Select something like this. Wait, make sure I select the layer. So you see, I have something like that. It looks like a glossy button kind of thing going on right here. And what you're going to want to do is simply control click on this this little image right there, the actual circle itself. What that does is outlines it. And what you can do there is add another, another, um, add anything you want into that circle. So I'm going I'm to make a copy of this style right here. And next I'm going to actually clear this layer style so so it's a regular plain black and then I'm gonna choose another style on top of that click uh, this nice blue see and what happens is that I'm gonna deselect now once I like it and I'm going to select the bottom layer let me just make it more roomy and I'm going to actually I'm not going to select the bottom layer. I'm going to select the top layer, which is the blue. And I'm going to Control T to free transform. And I'm going to hold Shift and Alt on your keyboard or Command and uh, I forget how it is on a Mac, but I'm pretty sure everybody got PC. Anyway, um, Control and Alt on the keyboard and just drag down just a little bit until you get like a nice ring around that shows from the bottom so just press enter so you kinda got a nice base going on nice outline going on right there and once you have that you can um, simply add text to it so I'm gonna add mic to it mic and mic could be any kind of style you want to add to it so you can also add another style to that text layer so I'm gonna add a nice metal kind of thing no that looks ugly okay so something something cool something that stands out maybe black so yeah anyway you get a nice black thing going on right there right so once you have that you can simply do the same thing you did with these two layers um make a copy of that and um what I'm gonna do select the bottom one and give it a nice style going on there or if not then you know add a nice whatever so if you don't like that just um 
back out of that give that that nice black again and just double click on it that effects tab just go into the blending options and just select like a nice uh let's see uh hmm. i don't know stroke you give that stroke a nice gray maybe no I'll keep the black and just just increase the size maybe I don't know whatever um anyway if you like that then you can keep that um what else what else what else um if not then you can always um change the style the text so if you don't like that highlight it simply change the text to something more bold change the size a little bit perfect and then you got an awesome cool logo right there going on um you can also add a nice double click on well not double click control click on uh any of these circles and just gives it that nice outline then select a new layer and then we're gonna select the paint bucket tool give it like a black right and you're probably gonna be like, yo Mike, what are you doing? What I'm doing is I'm gonna add a nice translucent style to it so it's like a see-through kind of thing. Right? See through. So as you can see I made like a nice see-through kind of thing right there. So I'm gonna double click on that and I'm gonna give it a texture. Giving it a texture gives it a nice feel to it. It's a texture. It's a so once you have your texture laid out, as you can see what's going on, I'm clicking it like these nice textures right here. So I have a Mickey Mouse. So you could just make this uniquely yours. So let's see I like that. So once you deselect control D, you got your own layer right there, your own style. So, I'm going to double click on the first layer because I want to give that a nice stroke. So, I can make it, you know, different. Give it a black. And decrease the size to about two. Maybe. Three. And, yeah, so. It's okay. And there you go. So, once you have your style and your logo all ready, you're ready to put it on any kind of website or whatever you have that you want to do it. So, oh yeah, most importantly, before you even do anything, once you save this, you're going to want to delete this background right there. So, everything will be in a translucent or transparent background, so it'll only show the logo. So, once you save it, it's important that you save it. You can save the Photoshop file. Like You can save it as a Photoshop file. Right? I'm going to call it Mike's logo. Or Mike's new logo. And um, you can save it as a PN, uh, PSD, right? So you can always have this file. You come back and edit it, or Control Shift S, and come down to the drop down and save it as a PNG. Saving it as a PNG will save it in its original, without no background form. So save it. Make sure that's select none. Save. So when you save it as a PNG, you will only see it as the logo you made without any kind of background. So that'll be perfect. So I'd like to say thank you again for um, letting me know that you want a, a logo. And, you know, um, I'd like to say thanks. Please comment and rate this video. And I'll catch you guys later. Happy holidays. So long.